So this is our retail section, um, which is pretty much our main sort of selling section. Let me grab the hose, make sure that's all on. Now, seeing as though it is the first time um, that you're seeing the nursery, uh, I'm just going to flip this around and just take you through our main sort of gallery section here. So this is where all of our main display trees are. Now, I'll just take you through them. I won't go through every single tree. Um, These are just some clients' trees down the bottom here that we're doing a little bit of work on. We have a lot of uh, clients who bring trees in um, just to help maintain them. Or they don't have the time or perhaps even the skills. They just like owning bonsai and um, looking at them in their homes. This is our main sort of feature wall here. A lot of our main sort of larger, more imp impressive trees are here. This crypto, this is a Japanese cryptomeria. Definitely a fan favorite of people coming in to the nursery. Also this, also probably one of my favorite trees in the nursery. This is a California Redwood timestamp. Up there, this is from 1953 we estimate, um, some really really nice growth on the cedars at this time of year. This is also a customer's tree that we keep here year round and maintain for them. Now this Cascade Juniper, this was originally worked on by Kimura, a Japanese master. A really cool tree. Now we have some olives down here. These were dug out of the South Australian desert uh, probably around 10, 15 years ago. That's obviously not an olive. But that is a Chinese elm, also a customer's tree that we maintain and care for throughout the year. This is another one of the olives that was dug out of the South Australian desert. A really impressive tree. This is one of my personal trees. Hinoki cypress. Got a really heavy prune back in autumn. So it's still recovering from that a little bit, but we're just trying to get the pads. You can see there's some new growth coming through, which is good. But I was just trying to condense the pads as much as I possibly could before spring and autumn was the best time to do that. Another really old radiata pine. We are thinking that we'll probably cut down that apex and create something sort of out of the top here rather than all the way up there. Eucalyptus. Not too shaped, we sort of just leave this one wild. Another one of my personal trees, an olive. Beautiful time for azaleas as well. This particular one has a really, really nice pink flower, as you can obviously see. Tall and slender sort of bonsai. Try to maple forest now. Again, a really nice time here, you can see this particular trunk on this clump, still coming out a little bit. Really old red pine from 1957, just repotted into that pot. Ideally, we could probably find a better pot for it, but for now, that's all right. It actually blew over in the storms. We lost a chunk out of the apex there. So we're just letting that recover for a little bit. And then we'll come back through and rewire all of that. Get it looking nice again. This is one of our new trees. Another guy that works here. Hey, the dinosaur has fallen over. 
This is definitely a uh, fan favorite of the kids that come through. You always hear them yell out about the dinosaur in the tree, which is a cool little extra for them. Another tree owned by Anu. Tried at maple with a really impressive Nabari. These are Japanese azaleas, non flowering. Yeah. Good morning. Good, how are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? Lebanese cedar, you can see the colour that the cedars produce at this time of year. Another tree owned by Anu. Pines, junipers. This is one of my junipers I've been working on for the last year. Just got a complete restyle not too long ago. Excited to see that really fill out over the next year or so. So that's our main sort of gallery area. Now we do have all of this area behind me as well which I'll take you up there maybe a little bit later, but first we've got to get watering. Um, so this is our retail section, which you would have seen where we were set up originally. Cool little spot. I'll try and get out of the way. So this is our second sort of warmer day in a row. Yesterday, I think it hit maybe around 17 degrees up here, which is relatively warm for here at this time of year. So everything got a good watering yesterday, but season, I think it's gonna be around 20, 21 up here. So being a couple days of warm weather, I'll give everything a good soak this morning, let it get through the day. Now I think some some rain is coming tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening, so this should should really do it until until that rain comes. Uh, he should be in. What's the time now? He should be in maybe ten fifteen minutes. Oh. He said ten thirty to me, but. Oh. Yeah. It's, my name's Emma from the Fernie Creek Talk. So All right, yep. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, so yep. Hopefully he's got it in his book, but yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sure he would. So we're going to do a 10 o'clock of the um, garden. Yep. And then a afternoon, a morning tea, and then a tour here. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, nice. What day, what day is that? Um, Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'll be here Saturdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got a few members and um, we just had a spring show and we have a bonsai section and we have about a dozen entries. So okay. Oh, cool. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, Actually, yeah. I think I saw, are you going, are you, it's like a full day sort of tour that you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. And are you going to Tien in Bonsai Sensation as well? Uh, no, that might be another Oh, okay, right, right. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. So I have seen a couple of different groups doing yeah. some tours. Oh, no, yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah, yep. And, um, and you've got a couple of um, bonsais here for maintenance, but I'll, I'll probably come back to them. Yeah, okay, yep. Oh, you've got the. Um, uh, yeah. Is there? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's a. Oh, there's a. Like a. Juniper, yep. And then like a beginner one, and then I caught a very nice one on. Ah, uh, actually, on yes, um, yeah. I actually think your juniper is all finished, and I think the other one's all done as well. Okay. So at least it'll be ready for you next time you come through. If you didn't want to grab it today, um, it's gonna be in the car in the heat. 
Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Um, what was your name again? Emma? Emma. Yeah, right. Yep. yep. Yeah, awesome. Well, yeah, they will be ready to go whenever you're Bye. ready to pick them up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sean. Yeah. Sure. Sean. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll be in touch with you. Um, yeah, no worries. Yeah. If you want to pop back in, he should be all of, yeah, five, ten minutes, I would say. Yeah. Um, so if you're still around then. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah cool. All righty. No worries. So that was just a lady from the Ferny Creek um, Horticultural Society. And basically, I don't know if you would have heard that through the microphone, but basically they are just running like a day sort of tour and just going around and visiting a few gardens a little bit later on in the year. Um, and they're doing a tour through here on a Saturday. So that should be, should be cool to get some people through particularly sort of the garden minded people. It's always nice to have people through that can appreciate bonsais a little bit more than just the average person that comes through. Not that that's a, a bad thing. Uh, it's really just a little bit more appreciation for what we do, which sometimes can go unnoticed. We get called torturers and things like that. <laughs> Which, if you knew anything really about bonsai, um, these things are the most looked after and cared for things, living things, other than, I guess, children and humans and people. Some of these trees may need a little bit of uh, fertilizing soon, too. Getting to that point, particularly on the deciduous stuff, where you don't fertilize straight away in spring. You want to try and keep that leaf size as small as possible. But now that it's pretty much most of the trees here have leaf leafed out. So in the next week or two is probably a good time to start uh, getting that fertilizer into them. Now you may notice that I am wearing a bonsai hoodie that is not the name of us we are chojo feature trees um, this particular nursery is in japan chadman's bonsai they're actually doing some really really interesting things in japan but chadman's are really starting to push into i guess more of the commercial market they're doing a lot of partnerships with big brands, Gucci, Porsche, a lot of brands so I like that, which is good for bonsai, I think. Particularly in Japan, they're losing a lot of the patronage over there. Hey, dude. What's going on? Good much, man. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Is that? Me, I, I just expect a lot of um, people, you know, commenting or not just commenting, but messaging me. But yeah. Maybe I have We haven't, not for a long time, put a videos of the finished look. True. So yeah. Kind of mm, yeah. Way, yeah. A lot of people probably haven't seen the yeah, setup yeah, at that's all. What I mean. Yeah. Not yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'm just going to go and water everything. Yeah, great, man. Uh -oh. Maybe uh, just um, make sure those ones we put in the pots with our potting mix around them get wet. No, yeah. Two pints. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three. Yep. Ooh. That one, I would say it's probably... Maybe 15, 15 to 20. Um, so often the age comes from the tree itself, not how long it's been a bonsai. Um, so that one in particular was dug out of a garden and then created as a bonsai, turned into a bonsai. Um, so there, there are a couple of different ways that you can create bonsai, seedlings, 
um, so you know, propagating. Like aren't created from a seed. It's Not necessarily, no. A lot of the older trees in the gallery, um, they were originally just trees in the ground. Um, the two big olives that we have there, they were dug out of the South Australian desert um, about 10, 15 years ago. And then for the last 10, 15 years, they've been trained as bonsai. Um, so yeah, that's, that's sort of a different way of doing it. Um, you certainly can do it as a seedling, yeah. but you've got to wait, you know, a long time, a long time to get something impressive. Right? Yeah. Um, um, and some, and some people love that. They love that slow process of knowing that they've grown it from a seedling and yeah. then they've created it and, and cared for it the whole time. Um, but. Um, so that one has multiple different trees in it, um, so the, the age of the trees themselves, they may only be between 5 and 10 years old, each of them, um, but planted as a group, so it just looks a little bit more impressive. And then eventually over time the root base of those trees will all fuse together and they'll sort of become like a, a single sort of tree, but just with all separate trunks. Um, wow. So yeah, every, every tree is sort of different. Um, it's clearly something you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know a lot about yeah, I sold my business to come and do this, so oh, yeah, wow. yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. What business did you have? Uh, spray painting. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, so big change. Well, yeah. It's, um, it's something you love now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it's magnificent. It's a juniper, yeah. Awesome too, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the tree? Depends a little bit on the tree. So uh, for your deciduous stuff, it helps, um, particularly in like the heat of summer, to have morning sun and then afternoon shade. Okay. Um, yeah. Just because they get a little bit of um, foliage burn and they just scorch up and, and crisp up a little bit. Right. Um, doesn't necessarily affect the tree, just yeah. the foliage on it. Um, but in saying that, you do have to keep the watering up as well. Um, so they do need quite a bit of water. Particularly in summer, yeah, okay. yeah, because they're in such a small tray, um, yeah. they only have so much retention of moisture. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it, it, again, it depends on the tree, but particularly deciduous, they need a little bit more water than your conifers and stuff like that. So, cool. um, so yeah. yeah. I was just looking at was deciduous. Cause the, the maple the up there? Yeah, yeah. Quite yep. fresh. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So that's probably only leafed out about two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and then we got the cold snap and it sort of stopped growing a little bit, um, but it's just starting to get back into um, good sap flow now, so it'll it'll shoot off like crazy soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of information on um, on YouTube yeah, mainly. Yeah. Um, we do classes here as well. Um, there's information on all our website and stuff like that. So uh, we do them once a month. Um, and it's an introduction to bonsai course and it's a full day course, 10 till four o'clock um, on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have any left this year. Um, they'll probably start back up at the start of February, probably that first Sunday of February. Uh, so it's two ninety five for the course, um, but you get to pick out a tree for one day. For, a for, one day. for one day, yep. You get to pick out a tree, mm -hmm. and then you work through that tree throughout the class. You get to pick a pot, you put it into a pot, and then you get to take that home at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. So it's sort of the price of it sort of pays for the tree, and I guess the and the knowledge and everything like, else. What are, what um, I can show you what we yeah. what we sort of work on. So this is the size of the tree that you work on. Okay. Just a juniper like that. Um, these ones have already been been sort of done, um, but yeah. they they start a lot fuller, and you go through and you learn how to wire, um, learn how to prune and style it, um, and then yeah, you get to pick a pot at the end of it, um, pot it up, and so then all get genipers. to take out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the easiest to sort of learn. Um, they're a lot hardier, um, and they they really suit this sort of climate. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you get to sort of go through. We'll have a whole selection of, of trees that you can come through and choose from, and then okay. you, yeah, you just work on that throughout the day.
Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's it's a really good way just to get that confidence of knowing how to prune and stuff like that. Very um, therapeutic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll give you one of our cards yeah. now. Sorry. Any of these your personal treat? Uh, some of them are. Yeah, I've got about three or four in the main gallery, and then I've got some for sale in here as well. Um, luckily, the two that you picked out were the nice ones, the ones I'm selling. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've had that for a few years now, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Good luck with it all. Yeah, thank you. And we might see you next year for a class. <laughs> but you can be the first if you want. <laughs> I like my warm clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just going a little bit busy in there. So for now, I might just come up and water up here.